right, so over the next several weeks, you'll probably be invited to a Christmas party, Fiesta Bowl party, or Super Bowl party, maybe even all three, right? Even though those affairs are meant to be loose and fun, you could still use it as a networking opportunity to grow your business or get a foot in the door for a job. Kelly Ackenblit is the founder of NetworkingPhoenix.com, a leading online resource for job seekers and also for business owners. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Let's jump right into this. You say when you're at a party, again, loose and fun, but you want to lead with your friendship foot. Explain that. Right. Well, when you're at a social event like this, you're not necessarily, I mean, you could be there networking, but it is not a networking event. Okay. So you have to watch your etiquette. And people are there because they want to enjoy themselves. It's probably more of a party atmosphere. So be friendly, right? Don't walk in, hi, I'm so-and-so, and what okay. do you do? Right. So start off kind of loose, maybe. You know, you're enjoying the game. This is a great holiday party. Right. Keep it kind of loose in the beginning. Absolutely. Okay. You also say bring some professional-looking business cards. That's going a little old school, but still a way to network. Business cards are just great because they have your information. And remember, you're not necessarily there to exchange business cards, but you are there to make a connection. And if you do make that connection with somebody, you absolutely should have a business card that you can give them and, or exchange and then follow up on that. Okay, let's put up three don'ts now. And I think our first one on the list involves too much alcohol. Yes. Absolutely. Just like with a holiday party, you don't want to drink too much. Well, even if you're going to a social party where you might be looking for a job connection, same concept applies, mm -hmm. especially if you're conscious of the fact that you're there to make professional connections. Just, you know, be careful on the alcohol. All right. Also, don't throw business cards, like Gelly said, at everybody. And then the last one here, don't monopolize people's time. Right. So if you do meet somebody that you feel you have a good connection with and maybe they can help you get in the door for a job interview, view don't hang around them the entire time you know there is such a thing as overdoing it so okay. make that connection have the conversation but then move on okay happy holidays Kelly happy holidays thank you, you very too. much for being here of course Kelly Ackenblit is with networkingphoenix.com Kim we'll send it back over to you great advice